New role quest and no more job quest. Final Fantasy Live Letter 67 was a doozy, so let's go over it. In this quick video, we'll talk about the job quest, role quest updates from the recent Live Letter. Let's first go over role quest. Role quests are specific story quests for each of the five roles in Final Fantasy XIV. Melee DPS, Range DPS, Caster DPS, Healer, and Tank. They were added in Shadowbringers expansion and are located right here in the main city's expansion. They unlock when you have completed the main story and have a specific job in that role to level 70, so this does require having multiple job and roles leveled, as you need a healer for the healer role, tank for the tank role quest, and so on. The final role quest for Shadowbringers is level 80 for each of them, so it does look like they're going to expand further on this and make it a part of each expansion to have new role quests related to that specific expansion that comes out. This is really great as Shadowbringers was freaking amazing and pretty much tied up the story for Shadowbringers overall, so they are pretty important to do them if you have time. I honestly really like how they made it optional to wrap up the story fully and to be able to do it at your own time to really enjoy it. Once you complete the five role quests in Shadowbringers, you have extra quests after that for the big finale pretty much, but you do need to complete all five. So the same will be for Endwalkers probably as we see here. So it might be good to prioritize one of each role in Endwalker if you're already maxed out on all your jobs. If you're just starting out and you're not even to Shadowbringers yet, now you kind of understand the way that they're moving towards, which is making sure at least one role is leveled up your healer tank range dps caster dps or melee dps so you can experience the full breadth of the story in shadowbringers and and walkers and probably moving forward unlike shadowbringers they're not making it mandatory to complete a role quest to finish the main scenario which seems pretty good to me less restrictions is usually better when it comes to main story content for job quests, they have stated that there will be no level 90 job quests, that the level 80 quest for the jobs is the completion of each job quest and its related stories. This seems like it could kind of be a sad thing, but the more amazing thing is that got me super excited was that they mentioned if they did start up job quest again, it would be a completely new NPC, sagas, or stories that they would create, which really opens up the creativity for the story. They had mentioned that the level 80 job stories have just gotten so complex and intertwined with so many characters that it would be difficult for them to keep moving forward, which I completely agree. I'm really happy with the conclusion of all of the job stories and how they ended and don't need any closure. So here's to hoping that they're going to make more job quests. Moving on to the crafter and gatherer quest lines, it does look like we're going to be getting another five quest lines for the Disciple of Hand and land which we had via the Crystarium deliveries. Just like the roll quest lines, once you finish the five quest lines, you will have an extra bonus quest for completing all of those. I really like this style of quest lines that not only round out each independent crafter or gatherer, but also the story in a way with the extra quest. All in all, it looks like role quests are going to be the higher priority for this next expansion and for the future, which is not really a bad thing because we have so many new things going on that it would be hard to balance everything out. I really hope they do come out with brand new job quests at some point in Endwalker as the creative team really created some of the most amazing job quests that I've come to love like Dragoon and Dark Knight. From this part of the live letter, the actionable item here seems we should really be focusing on having at least one job per role max leveled in order to make the most out of the story, which I kind of like. Comment down below with your thoughts on this part of the live letter. If you've gotten any value out of this video, then don't forget to limit break three that subscribe button as well. I have two other live letter videos covering the brand new PVP actions and the HQ materials update. I decided to split the videos up in this manner so you can choose which you're most interested and which you're not. I want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Your continued support allows me to keep making these informational practical guide videos. If you want to support this channel, there is a link tree down below in my description box that will have all that information as well as access to my public discord. If you want to keep watching Final Fantasy tutorials or the other two live letter videos, then you can click here.